again, everyone. It's Kaz Beal, and this is Casual Conversations, where we speak to people very important in our world. And this is an audio podcast available also. So if you listen to the audio podcast, go to youtube.com slash TV, and uh, you can see all the episodes in the video of this one, which is pretty amazing. So audio is good, video is better, or if you like it the other way around, it's the other way around. So anyways, our special guest today is David Levin. Is that correct? Did I say that name correctly? You today? said that exactly right. There are so many people say it in a million different ways, but you got it. You know, Cass, I've known you, I've known you for years. And <laughs> so, so, so you you definitely got my name right. I give him a clue at the banks of the old Raritan. Look that's that up right. in Google and see what that refers to. All right, very that's, famous, that's very right. famous school with the big letter. I can't say the letter. Too many clues. Let them search and give comments below and try and guess who, who we're talking about, okay? We'll see how, we'll see how scarlet they, uh, they they get this. Yeah, well, D David is a, I would call a pop culture historian and uh, icon to be, I think, soon himself because he's spoken to so many people. Tell us about how, how that came about, your background, how you got into that, but real quickly because we've got important stuff to talk about. Sure. Well, I'm a producer. Uh, I've been a producer for my entire career. And um, I started out wanting to make movies. And mm -hmm. as with many other people, sorry, I'm shaking my camera there a little bit. As with many other people, my career sort of took a slightly different path than I went originally. But I had a great time. I ended up doing uh, a lot of unscripted content, as they call it now, which are documentaries. Mm -hmm. And um, I did a lot of work for AMC and Bravo in marketing and USA Network and Lifetime in the early days of cable. Uh, ended up doing work for Warner Brothers and for Fox and for CBS and then ended up, spent a lot of time at MTV doing uh, work at, um, uh, doing work on their documentaries. And I did work on, on uh, Madonna and Elton John and Michael Jackson and The Doors and Tom Petty. And it was one of the more uh, exciting periods of uh, uh, an early exciting period of my of my career. So, so I did the show called TV Lane Confidential, and I interviewed uh, hundreds of of uh, stars from just about name every TV show from the fifties through, you know, through the through the two thousandsies, um, and got to talk to and get to know some of these amazing stars. Uh, when TV Land Confidential was over, we had all these terrific interviews that we had done with these people, most of which were, were you know, we didn't use tons of them. So I got permission to turn them into um, a YouTube show called Pop Goes the Culture. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Pop Goes the Culture TV. And started showing some of these never before seen interviews with, 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 um, with these major stars. And... Um, and as we got into COVID, I realized that there were all these people sitting at home with nothing to do. It was really early, actually, and it was a little a little scary. If you remember the early days of uh, of, of the lockdown, as it were, uh, and who the hell wants to think about that? But but we started thinking about it, and everybody was doing stuff at home newscasts were coming out of kitchens and talk shows were coming out of basements and and concerts were coming out of bedrooms and yeah. and and stand-up comedy was coming out of bathrooms and i said well why don't we do something a little bit different there wasn't any scripted content uh david uh yeah. we have i just got a uh, tell me a message from the uh control center there we got a special news break we got to go to so uh <laughs> sorry about this so you had some issue there uh but this is interesting it involves a lot of celebrities so we, we got to go to this right now and we'll be we'll join back here in a few seconds okay, okay. hopefully it won't be long all right let's, let's uh, see what's going on Seems okay. like really important okay guys bro Story we're following a jump in cases of a deadly Four mystery this virus. morning. Growing concern over a growing the health crisis. More reported cases. The state of emergency has been declared. Tell residents to stay home. America closed. Sixteen hundred Americans now are infected. Thousands of Americans nationwide already under voluntary self quarantine. Out on Broadway are entering a new way of life. All because of the coronavirus. What was that? 
strange times, huh? Strange times. You're not buying the rumors, I hope. Mom, they are not rumors. How'd you get this number? I'm calling from the U.S. Census Bureau. Guess this whole virus stuff is making me hypersensitive. That was sketch. God, I can't believe we lost our whole senior year. It's like they just want to keep us busy so we don't go outside and actually enjoy ourselves. I'm desperate to get laid. TMI, you know... Would you like to get lucky? You had phone sex with my maid of honor. Hey, well, you can't come to my house. You know why? Because I'm practicing the social distancing. Uh, is that a martini? Fuck up. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's gotta be 5 o'clock somewhere, Bubba. It's no way to live. Zoom? What the hell is Zoom? Is this a robocall? Mom? Mom, unmute yourself. The air is thick. With pestilence. Pandemic, pandemic. <laughs> Are you still in bed? Um, yes. Off the floor and out the door. You know, I think I still have a little bit of that COVID brain fog going on. How can you tell? Oh, Ma, I miss you. I wish I could give you a hug. What can I tell you? We're living in strange times. Crazy. Can you expect me to, to trust some stupid, untested vaccine? I need my husband now. Are you coming on to me? No. Gotta find the joy in life. Mm. Life is full of surprises. <laughs>
Uh, before we continue, let's tell people where they can go to participate in this venture via vignettes, which features legends delivering laughter during lockdown. And you, told, but you know, we want people to help you continue the project further. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a little time is limited. So you know, there's a big link down below, but we'll have the actual link below the video itself. You can just click unless you want to type away and you enjoy typing. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> so what we're doing now is we raise money for for the Actors Fund. Now we're raising money to try to get more people to be able to see this and perhaps even turn it into a series. So we're doing a crowdfund on Seed and Spark, which is completely, it's like Kickstarter or Indiegogo, but this is devoted just to film and television. So you can go there. It, for a $10 donation, you can um, actually download, we'll, we'll send you thanks on social media. You can download uh, or, or view um, the, every one of the, the, the short episodes we did, or you can watch it as a full film. Uh, at the $25 level, you will get a special shout out. Thank you from one of our stars at $40. Okay. So what we did was we're doing private zoom parties and we're going to be starting on Monday, January 10th at 9 PM, uh, Eastern 6 PM central with Don most is going to be, uh, on a, on a zoom party. And for a donation of $40 or more, you will get an invitation to be in the Zoom party. You can ask him questions, you can ask him anything you want. Donnie will be happy to answer them. Um, we're also going to be doing Zoom parties with stars like Robert Wool and some of the others have agreed to do Zoom parties over the course of January. So if you, for the $40 donation, I sound like um, PBS right now, uh, for the $40 do donation, uh, you will be basically subscribed to attend any of our Zoom parties. Um, up to 100 people per Zoom party. And uh, that's actually a really great perk if you've ever wanted to uh, talk face-to-face -face with a star. Uh, here's my favorite perk. Uh, at the highest level, at $7,500, uh, which somebody has already bought at the $7,500, you can actually, we will actually create a new episode of Viral Vignettes, which will star you, the contributor, and one of our actors, somebody's already bought one. They're actually, they, they, they contributed $7,500 and we are writing a new episode for that particular uh, contributor to co-star with Barry Bostwick, which is unbelievable. I don't, I've never seen wow. a perk like this before. So you cast 7,500, but for you, I'll do it for seven grand. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you can co-star. I'll let you. You can co-star with any one of these actors who's, who's agreed to do this. It's. A, I think it's a really cool perk. Uh, I know actors don't have a lot of money, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, we are also thinking about doing one where we do it as a drawing, um, yeah. where somebody can, where so anybody who's contributed or become a follower, uh, will will we will we will do a, a random uh, pick. For anybody who wants to uh, uh, try for that, uh, which I think is is also pretty cool. All right, David, let's go back to the uh, bottom half of the list. There, you can go through the uh, celebrities involved in this, so, along with you, of course. You're the, you're one of the you're a celebrity also because you work uh, with celebrities. But you get the glow passed on to you, right? Yeah, I don't, it's not <laughs> like exactly a one degree of separation. It's nice to yeah. know these folks. Many of them are really really nice folks. Uh, so yeah, sure. Oh, oh, that's sorry. the big one. <laughs> that's the big one. Yeah, good luck with that. That just shows you a widescreen here. Let's go to close up. Here you okay. go, bottom row. So, the second to le second uh, second row from the bottom on the left, the amazing John Schneider. John Schneider from Dukes of Hazard, Bo Duke, also on Smallville, played Jonathan Kent, the the earthly father of Clark Kent. Next to him, unbelievable actress. Uh, uh, Linda Pearl, first seen on Happy Days uh, in two roles, actually. First season, she was Richie's girlfriend, Gloria, and the last season, she played Fonzie's fiance as a different character. Next to her, Lydia Cornell, best known from Too Close for Comfort with, uh, with uh, Ted Knight. Next to her, Oh, be still, be still my heart that we got this woman. Um, and she is the mother of Jim Meskimen. And he was gracious enough to ask her. She was gracious enough to say yes. Marion Ross, Mrs. C, 
from. Yes, Mrs. Yeah, Happy, Happy Days. Happy days. <laughs> and, and, and people have forgotten, but she also became later a regular on Brooklyn Bridge and and the Love Boat. She played the um, the uh, love interest of Captain Steubing in one of the later seasons. Uh, next to her, and you might not recognize her because she's not wearing her makeup, is Mary Chifo, who on the first two seasons of Star Trek Discovery played the leader of the Klingon Empire, oh, which is yeah. really kind of cool. Um, down to the last row, Maxwell Gale Jr. Maxwell Gale, who was Wojo on Barney Miller and also won an Emmy for his recent work on uh, General Hospital. Next to him, love this girl, Michelle Green. She played Abby on L.A. Law. Next to her, I've got, again, so many legends on this. On the, on our, we were so honored. Renee Taylor, uh, who played Fran Drescher's mom on The Nanny and has been in a million other things. Uh, if, if, if you're alive as long as we have, you might remember her. She played Eva Braun opposite Dick Sean in Mel Brooks' original The Producers. Oh, yeah. And, Fantastic and she, movie. And she also co-starred with Jerry Lewis. Uh, I think it was The Errand Boy. Next, did he say, hey, did he say, hey, lady, did he say that? Something <laughs> like that. It's, it's, it's a really good scene. Look it up on YouTube, Renee Taylor or Jerry Lewis. Um, next to her is Robert Wool, one of my favorites. Um, uh, he starred in Arliss. He's been in dozens of movies, uh, Batman, Bull Durham, a couple others, a bunch of others, writer and a producer and a director, just multi-talented. And he's agreed to do one of our, he's also agreed, many of these people have already agreed to do our Zoom party, and he's going to be a lot of fun. Again, $40 buys you a ticket to all of these. Uh, next to him is Susan Rutan. We wrote her episode especially for her. She was on L.A. Law. She played uh, Corbin Burnson's uh, long-suffering secretary. And then finally, uh, one, a, a good friend of mine, um, Yvonne Young, who starred in Third Watch years ago on NBC about the first responders. Uh, just wow. so great to to have all these actors. And they and again, they all contributed their time so generously. Um and I would love to see this. And they all said, oh, we want to do it again. Um, I would love to see this turn into a show. Um, <clears throat> because first of all, it was easy to do. You never have to leave your home. And second, we proved that you can create something other than a talk show or, you know, uh, as a, doing, you know, the way you and I are doing this right now yeah. is exactly what we did. Uh, we did not have Seed and Spark at that point. And in fact, when we mm -hmm. started, we really didn't even have Zoom. Um, and we did the best we could with the with the uh, with the tools at hand. Right. Um, and the writers were just fantastic. Can I talk about the writers for a moment? Yeah, but just let's tell them again where people have to go, the timeline, uh, the deadline, okay. so people can take part in this sure. and, and help you guys move the project. Because it's so much history you told us. It's amazing these people involved. But you know, you want them to do the next step. Okay, so the most <laughs> the most important thing right now is is uh, forty bucks buys you uh, kind of a subscription to all the Zoom parties that we're going to be doing with these stars. Some of them are going to come on solo by themselves. Some of them are going to come on with some surprise guest stars. You never know who might show up to one of our Zoom parties. And again, we we've actually made it so that the forty dollars will get you the pri the Zoom party uh, as opposed to $50. So that's a change from this. Um, and um, and it's at, at the $75 level, we will actually guarantee you one-on-one -on -one time. If you're in the Zoom party, you might not get to ask your question. But at the $75 level, we will guarantee you. Now, if you look also, if you've always wanted to have a credit in a movie, a uh, hundred bucks buys you a contributing associate producer credit. Uh, Five hundred bucks gives you a contributing co-producer credit. A thousand bucks gets you a contributing producer credit. Five grand will buy you uh, a, a contributing executive producer credit. Uh, if we ever get to, and at the higher levels, if we ever get to be in person again and we hit our stretch goal of uh, twenty grand, we will we will have. Uh, screenings 
in New York and LA uh, in person. Uh, and some of those stars will be there and you can meet them in person. If we can't do it, I get it. But you still get that great, those great, those great. Credits. Well, 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 David, I hope I get invited to the uh, New York screening because, you know, I, I, I gave up my precious screen time to put the pricing information up there over the top of me. So I better get an invite. The big red carpet treatment, you know, you'll, we go you'll, to New York. You'll, you'll, you will get to go this on the, on the red carpet and the step and repeat. Oh, unless, awesome. Unless, of course, you want to do interviews on the red carpet, in which case, uh, you know, you'll get a prime spot right, uh, right right, in front of Entertainment Tonight. So, Oh, awesome. Awesome. I did that at the uh, Studio 54, and, uh, you know, that was a lot of fun years back ago. Back in the uh, day, yeah. Back in the day, uh, 1999 of all things. That's where I uh, ran into Prince and a lot of other celebrities there. Uh, it was an exciting time back then, the beginning of Yahoo Online Music Awards. You oh, know, yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, go yeah. back to my history in cable because oh, yeah. we were both cable before cable was cool. You know, we, we oh, have that. Well, absolutely. We were, we were cable before cable was cable. Uh <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. Uh, all right. Well, so and I, got, and I got the gray hair to prove it. Oh, uh, that's true. So uh, you want to talk about the writers, you said? Oh, my God. The writers that we had, first of all, um, our, our story editor was a fellow named Fred Stroppel. He wrote a lot of the episodes. He is an award-winning um, uh, playwright, both uh, Broadway and off-Broadway. Off and off-off-Broadway, he's done some TV and he's done a couple of small movies. Uh, he's just a genius. Uh, one of the others that we got is a fellow named Bill Bickley, William S. Bickley, who if you watched a lot of TV over the years, William S. Bickley created step-by-step. Uh, -step, uh, he created uh, Family Matters. Um, he worked on shows dating back. His first show was in his early 20s. He, was, he wrote for The Partridge Family. He was a producer on Happy Days. He worked on Love Boat. I mean, this guy's a legend. And I called him up and I said, would you like to write an episode? <laughs> And he's like, well, I'll think about it. And I'm like, none of these gay people are getting paid. And he wrote this amazing episode for Donnie Most and uh, Gail O'Grady. Um, another one of our uh, writers is a first timer. He had never had anything produced. He was an aspiring writer named Kurt Freed. He wrote two episodes, both of which starred Barry Bostwick. Uh, we had another writer who is well known in the horror field, a guy named Stephen Van Patten. Uh, I urge you to look him up. He's written books. Uh, uh, African-American writer who writes about uh, African-American vampires and various other things. And just historical novels. They are great. They're eminently readable. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's just, just so good. And everybody who plunged in to do these were just terrific i mean it's just we're so lucky it's it's amazing so seed and spark.com they can yes. go there and then when you type in uh what do they have to put after viral vignettes or what do they have to do uh yeah just, just look searching? just yeah if you don't want to type out this whole thing and you don't have and you don't have to link where you are uh just go to seed and spark.com and look up viral vignettes um and you can see and you know, become a follower. That doesn't cost any money, and we. Will I did. I did. Thank you, Kat. <laughs> and we will. And we will keep you informed when we are having these uh, these Zoom uh, parties, so that you can make your contribution and you will get an, an invite into the Zoom party. Again, at forty dollars, you get a subscription to everybody mm -hmm. we're doing. Uh, I know that Audrey Landers is doing one. I know that um, we. We and that she's on the schedule already, uh, and we will be posting that schedule on seedandspark.com. If you look yeah. in the updates section, I, I'm you know, I can't shut up about this because I'm so excited about it. Well, you should be, it's it's, it's just incredible to get so many people together. The only thing I remind me of like the old Hollywood pictures at the Oscars, they put all the classic, you know, up the steps, and they have all these people standing there, you know, Jimmy Stewart, everybody in that kind of classic actors you know uh of old i guess you know the past uh but do me a favor just for people listening on the audio podcast read that big t uh address that they seed, have to go to seed and spark all one word like that dot com s-e-e-d-a-n-d-s-p-a-r-k.com backslash fund backslash viral dash vignettes 
pound sign story, but you can just go to seedandspark.com and uh, and search for viral vignettes. Wow. Um, and and by the way, are you are you a, a Mad Magazine fan? Yes. Did you love Mad Magazine when you were growing yes. up? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. One of my favorite artists and a good friend of mine is named Sam Viviano. Sam Viviano was the art director for the last 25, 30 years of Mad Magazine's existence. Mm -hmm. Enormously talented uh, artist. He's semi-retired now. He still works. He still, you know, does commissions. And in fact, uh, he has agreed if we hit our uh, our first stretch goal, which is $16,000, and we're already really close. We're at 12000 yeah. plus. Uh, if we hit our stretch goal of $16,000, we are commissioning Sam to do a poster for viral vignettes in which he will do a caricature of every one of our 21 stars. That I'm really excited about. And it's going to be, wow. you know, in the tradition of Mad, Mad, Mad World mm -hmm. um, and some of those other posters from the 70s that had those beautiful Jack Davis uh, art. Um He's just amazing, and we'll be previewing some of the, some of his early sketches uh, on viral vignettes. If not here, actually, I'll send you a send it to you. Awesome. Hey, before we end, let me go uh, play another a clip, which kind of explains, encapsulates everything, so you don't have to repeat yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, everything about it. Uh, so people watching on the video, they can watch that. You have to listen on the audio podcast. But you can always go back and. Uh, we have links on the audio podcast as well to the video. So either way, this is fun. The same uh, or similar celebrities, but it's nice to listen to them. I listen to uh, David in the middle kind of telling his story as well. So uh, it was like two and a half minutes or something. So yeah. uh, listen to this and we'll be right back. Mom? Grandma, you're muted. Can you hear me? Who the hell are you? Listen, I, I can't stay much longer. They get lost. Is this the planning board meeting? What is going on oh. here? Mom! Oh God. Breathe, Marshall. I'm coming upstairs. This is all because of my fault. I'm so sorry. Daddy! For God's sake, just take off your shield. Do you remember the first days of the pandemic? It was like one of those end of the world movies. We everybody on lockdown, the stock market yeah. crashing. No sports. Hi, my name is David Levin, and I am the creator of Viral Vignettes, the film that has its origins in that early, confusing period. The world has gone nuts. So, a group of talented actors, all well-known from movies, TV, and theater, all sitting at home, all climbing the walls. Bored! Got together with some talented writers and directors to create a comedy series to benefit the Actors Fund. We're on quarantine. How are we going to do a benefit? Separately. From a distance. On zero budget. What about my money? All volunteer. It can't always be about you and, and your financial problems, you know? Over a thing called Zoom. Zoom? What the hell is Zoom? To tell the stories. You had phone sex with my maid of honor. Sometimes humorous. I don't need another therapist. My last one took out a restraining order on me. Sometimes not so much. Are you still in bed? Um, yeah of what we were all going through. He can't come to my house, because I'm practicing the social distancing. We would love for lots more people to see our work. <laughs> our plan, and this is where you come in, is to release these marvelous little episodes as a web series, as individual shorts, and as a feature film, so that we can enter them into film festivals. You're just making the best of a bad situation, I see. Look, the main thing is we're gonna be bringing <laughs> entertainment to the culturally deprived folks making our fans happy we still have fans we've already garnered some awards and critical acclaim but we can really use your help i'll paypal you the, the money please create an account on seed and spark to follow and support our campaign check out our very cool pledge incentives and make a pledge while we have hit our initial crowdfunding goal we do have several stretch goals we need to hit and just a few short weeks left to do so by doing so you will truly become part of our team Thank you for your support and for helping us spread the word. Hey, spreading the word, what it's all about. That's what we did here today. And uh, David, any final uh, advice for people who um, want to help you out here? Yes, my advice is, and this goes to you too, Kaz, 40 bucks buys 
guys <laughs> access to these stars. More importantly, 10 bucks, you know, every little bit helps. I don't want to say, you know, 10 bucks, you can watch the movie. And it really helps us a lot. Uh, you know, there are people who've given $10. And I'm, I don't want you to think that I'm unappreciative. We do. And we thank every single one of them on social media, you know, for a little bit more. Uh, one of our stars will read your name and say thank you on a list. Um, just go to the thing, take a look. There's a lot of really good content there. We are so proud of, of, of what we've done. And, you know, I, I can't thank you enough, Kaz, for giving uh, giving me the time to talk about this because I could talk about this forever. As you can see, I'm being, being the shy, withdrawn person that I am, I, you know, it's, really? it's hard to get me to open up about stuff that I'm excited about. No. So, well, thank you. I, I don't think you had trouble uh, opening up today uh, because uh, you gave us so much information. I think the knowledge of your experience and spending time with these uh, celebrities or popular people, um, people that, you know, everyone has been grown up with, no matter what age, I think, because of reruns, you know, get rediscovered all the time. We love what, these what, guys. We, oh. we love these folks. And, you know, we just lost Betty White recently, who yeah. I had the pleasure of meeting a couple of times. And we've lost so many. Yeah. Uh, not that these people are on the verge of dying or anything anytime soon, I hope. No. But, you know, the, 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 the generation of stars that, that, that people in, you know, our age and, and a little bit younger and a little bit older grew up with, they're, they're disappearing a little bit at a time. And this is really a once in a lifetime chance to get to, meet with them and hang out with them and yeah. find out just wonderful people we've always known that they were. Hey, speaking of hanging out, how what was it like hanging out here on Casual Conversations for you? It was like sitting in my own office at home uh, talking with a good, dear old friend. So I, I this was this was fun. I, I hope we can do this again. Hey, which one's the old friend? What do you try to say? <laughs> you said, dear old friend. Which one's the old friend? Was it? That guy uh, or is it that guy? That would be that would be that would be that guy. That guy. <laughs> Look, you're, yeah, you you and I have known each other a very long time, and thanks yeah. to social media, we've gotten to know each other again. Yeah. Um. You know, and perhaps one day we'll we'll come back and and talk about that. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I love what you're doing with Casual Conversations. It's a great show, and and the people you have on are really interesting and fun to watch and and you know it's it's uh it's cool to see it's cool to see friends doing well and and getting uh and and finding something new getting their spark the seed and spark thing.com is is yep. uh helping newcomers and yep. and fogies like us to to yeah. help fulfill dreams i mean honestly i said earlier my original dream was to make movies, mm -hmm. and although I've had a really wonderful career in television that I'm really grateful for, I'm mm -hmm. also grateful. It took the end of the world for me to go back, or what felt like the end of the world, for me to go back to my original ambition, and, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it's for just a small amount of money, uh, you know, you can help me literally make my dream come true. Uh, this is better than make a wish as far as I'm concerned for me. Um, I'll do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Seed and spark that, com. That's where everyone has to go to support this viral vignettes project because it features legends delivering laughter during lockdown, but it's funny. It's entertaining. Uh, I'm sure it'll be more. What I've seen so far is exciting. I, I like the plan of doing short segments, a movie, Right. Yeah, uh, each of these, each of these is an anthology. Okay, it, it, yeah. it, every episode stands on its own, mm -hmm. and so we're releasing each of them as their own uh, yeah. short film. But and you don't know this unless you watch all the episodes. They're all tied together. Oh. Okay. One character in one film is actually married to another character in another film, and they're actually the parent of another character in another film, and you don't see that until the very end of the movie. Oh. So when we stitch them all together, it's one big story. Awesome. But, but awesome. you don't know it, so we, we spent a lot of time thinking about... So you got to pay attention to every episode. There's probably little gotta, clues everywhere that you got to look around 
And and I, I love that kind of stuff because I'm always like watching like a mystery and saying, okay, so that's that's the bad person, that's the good one, no, that whatever. And then you know somehow ninety percent of the time I get the person right because you you look for little things, little theatrical moves they make or something that kind of go, well, that, that doesn't seem right what they're doing right It's kind of like Stephen King novels where a character uh -huh. who's a main character in one episode, in one book, turns out to be a, a supporting character in another book. So yeah. we sort of like, so Don is in a couple of episodes and it turns out that he's married to one of the other characters in another episode. And if you're paying careful attention you'll start to realize what the connections are between the different characters. Uh, do you have any walk-ons or little mystery shadow appearances, uh, or you can't reveal that? Well, you know, Marion was a cameo who showed up in the, in the middle. She was, we, we gave her a very small part because she's- No, no, did, did you, do you, do you appear anyway? Do I, I'm not being an Alfred Hitchcock, no. Come um, on. My daughter a actually- A magazine's got something up yeah, on a magazine. A like, no, my daughter actually- the culture. My daughter, who is actually eight and was six when we were doing these, yeah. uh, she makes, she makes cameos, her voice, uh, oh, is in okay. two is in two episodes and that's kind of cool. Um, and, nice. Uh, but that's that's as far as it goes. I don't know. I don't believe you. I think there's a secret. You'll probably appear somewhere. But uh, I, you know, that's my part feeling. Of me, the part of me, the part of me that always wanted to act, <laughs> said a little bit of a ham. That like I said, no, I'm not. I'm not doing this. I my my uh, my criteria. For, for for casting was that the person has to have either a familiar name or a familiar face. Uh -huh. And in a couple of cases, uh, even if the name wasn't familiar or the face wasn't familiar, like for the younger actors, they had to at least be, uh, have, have a little bit of a resume. Um, yeah. And they all did. That's wonderful. Well, thank you very much for your time, David. And yes, uh, thank good you. Good luck with viral vignettes. Uh, I'll be involved. Believe me, I, like I said, I already signed signed up for all the messages and stuff, and I hope to contribute. Uh, and what is the deadline? Um, do you have an exact deadline? Okay, so this, yeah. Well, first of all, if you want to get in on these um, on these these Zoom parties, as we're calling them, uh, I suggest you sign up as soon as you see this because Don's uh, Zoom party is on Monday, January tenth, again nine p.m. Uh, Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, they are live, and once they're done, they're done. You can't mm -hmm. come in again later, uh, and you will only get the invitation to that Zoom if you have contributed $40 or more. Mm -hmm. um, we might show sections from it, you know, but you won't be able to participate in it, but right. we will We will be showing clips from it. Um the so so do that as soon as possible. The last date that you can sign up for these will be January 28th. Uh, we have some surprises coming up uh, for wow. new episodes, and not all the people in our show will be doing Zooms, but some Zooms will be done by people who were not in our show originally. Uh, there are going okay. to be some surprises popping up. And for 40 bucks, I mean, it's literally, if we do, if we do four of these, that's going to be 10 bucks a pop, but we're probably going to yeah. be doing 10 or 20 of these, which as an admission price that, you know, your, your, yeah. your, your entry fee gets, goes down the more of these we do. And of course, the more people sign up, the more we can do. So mm -hmm. if we get a hundred people signing up to do this, you know, we might end up doing, you know, 50 or 60 of these. Uh, yeah. That'll go past February, and you'll be signed up for as long as we do these. Well, thank you again for being a great guest. We'll have you back on, David, talk about pop culture. Yeah, well, I'm and, shy, uh, <laughs> so you'll have to sort of, you know, you'll have to sort of draw me out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll contact your agent. Uh, we'll work on your agent. Make okay, sure, uh, yeah, you know, your we, people we, will call my people. Yeah, exactly. You know how it works, this business. So <laughs> thank you again. Happy New Year. And, Thank you. Uh, Happy New Year to you, Kaz, and to all your, all, to your, all your viewers and listeners. Thank you. See you next time on Casual Conversations. Bye.